Uh, this is the bad thing about Sony cameras. You don't have a monitor or flip screen. I don't know what is the frame. Whatever. This one is the good one. Check it out. It's my third attempt. The autofocus. Yes. Welcome back. Thank you for taking your time and watching these crazy videos and I want to give you my first impressions in my first 24 hours with this camera. Okay, A7 III, okay, Sony camera, whatever. What I think about this beautiful camera, this autofocus, this... Um, um, um. Remember subscribe, to subscribe if you like this kind of video content in this Sony A7, 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 A7 III. Welcome to the blog. Wait a I want to give you my impressions for people that really don't know anything about cameras and use everything in auto in this 7A73. This camera comes with dual SIM card, really useful if you are doing interviews. Autofocus is really fast and accurate. But you want to use the autofocus in the Sony cameras in the maximum. Uh, Ninja autofocus Go for Sony lenses They have audio input and output so you can listen while I'm recording and this is so important because a lot of the times you mess the stuff with the audio The super slow-mo is really really nice Be smooth You have to take some things in consideration for shutter speed when you are in slow motion so if you are shooting in 60 go up to 120 or if you are shooting in 120 slow motion remember going up to 240 you can record 6k 4k a lot of technical stuff cheesy breezy lemon squeezing really not relevant that you don't have any idea with the camera practical thing that i really love it is that you can charge the camera with your power bank or external battery the batteries in this camera are really good i almost shoot the whole day in two batteries focus function are a little bit wacky the good thing is that you can track already your focus in the camera just like touching the screen quite fast by the way another good thing is the s-lock so you can grade and you can have more dynamic range for the downs in this camera that i find in these 24 hours maybe have solutions so don't take so serious again don't take it 100% but going with the downs obviously the price is, is a pricey camera low light it's good in low light, but not a low light killer like the A7S or A7S II. It's okay in dark situations, buy an extra light. The white balance is all over the place. So I recommend go manual on the white balance. And because of that, I felt the camera overexposed your image. Take care with that. Don't trust at all in the auto and don't trust in the auto white balance. Last but not least, obviously the color signs in Sony cameras are not that good like in Canon but it's not the end of the world okay this is my thoughts on the a7 III. remember subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of first impressions and first thoughts about cameras let me know in the comments and i can do more videos like that if you are interested on peace